All right, guys, welcome to June 2018 for my creative year. This month, our topic is space, and this week we are going to talk about sharing our personal spaces. Now, for me, I'm going to actually take this literally. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I think now's the time. Um, you, of course, could take this a number of different ways, and the teachers are doing that. But I'm going to actually share my art space with you as it is. Now, it is in a small 10 by 10 bedroom. It's not very big. I did just get the door fixed, so it opens nicely. Um, when you walk in my door, this is what you see. And as you turn around, which we'll try to do this slowly, Oops. I have this small nightstand next to my door that has all of my favorite things on it. And as you scroll up, of course, there's the light switch and my walking stick and a wall of art and inspiration. And it goes around the corner. Those big paintbrushes, those were my father-in-law's. He was a carpenter and a painter. They're the coolest thing on the planet. Anyway, art, some of mine, some from you all, uh, souvenirs, bits and pieces, surround me in my space, and don't you just love that? All right, let's go back this way, slowly. We don't make anybody sick. All right, this is the closet of this bedroom. Um, I've taken the doors off, and we do have curtains there for when I want to close it up, which isn't very often. And I've taken the pole out, Use the shelves to store lesser used items like fabric and my big giant tripod and um, thread and things I want to keep but I don't need all the time. I have a number of these sets of drawers or iris carts that line the rest of the closet with different parts in them. I like the idea of having my products in these clear plastic drawers. I can see them. They're easy to label. Um, and yes, I have everything labeled because that would just drive me crazy. The things that won't fit in the drawers or that are too bulky sit on top. Or that would be too messy to put in the drawers. Like these two trays here which are full of seed beads. I have my hangers hanging in there in the corner. Hangers. Uh, <laughs> my... Uh, uh, rulers. Holy cow. I have some canvas that I pulled off of the stretcher frames and my bucket of pouring medium. And uh, There's a not attractive side plug strip. Need one of those. Um, underneath my table. Here's my table. I recently took off. I had one of those Michaels twirly tool things. Um, and it's kind of just always in the way. It takes up table space. Um, so I recently redid the tabletop, so we'll see if this works for me. And I have lots more clear space to really work on a project or spread out, which is great. I have my um, organizer little cabinets on the back of the table that are also from Michaels that hold my pens and markers and um, watercolor paints, small bits. And then I have on top of them pigment powders and my... Um, bank of words and quotes, some glitter, watercolor brushes, acrylic brushes, scissors, you get the idea. All of those small bits that you would want at hand when you're working on a mixed media project. See? There you go. All right. Underneath the table, because remember I said this is only 10 by 10, so we got to use utilize all the space. So underneath the table I have these two other smaller black iris carts full of my watercolor paint tubes and my paint palettes and more glitter because you know we all love glitter and sparkly things. <sighs> yeah I know. Um, embossing supplies and um, I have a box of props and glitter glue and you get the idea. My um, paper towels, my wax paper, my clean rags. That's the dirty rags. Yes, I do use rags. I actually don't use paper towels too much. My garbage can. Um, my artist paints, which I don't use a ton, but when I do use them, there they are. 
And since I'm on the floor, I have my hot glue um, gun and my heat tool in this drawer, top drawer, some um, papers in the bottom drawer. This other iris cart has my ink sprays and alcohol inks and like sort of things in it. My jelly plates are also in there along with my mixed media um, sewing machine um, that's set up to do free motion. My dress making sewing machine is actually right there and behind it is my serger um, or overlock mach machine. My travel art stuff is piled there in the corner. The box is a start a box of stuff I've started gathering for my friend Cindy Utter some bits and pieces that I don't need anymore that I think she might be able to use so I'm gonna pass them along as I move around here this is um, this is my one of my cabinets alright so underneath is a die cut machine and um, some files and then the top drawer is office supplies and you can see that on top there I'm just noticing is so heavy the top is bowed a bit that's not good um, these bank of drawers hold inks and ink pads and tape um, this shelf cabinet thing here has my different pastels and sharpie markers uh, more markers and um, overstock pens pencils, uh, metallic paint, um, neon paint and fluid acrylics, mediums, 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 mediums. I know it's too many and I purged and I still have too many. Um, crayons and those kind of like kind of markers, different kinds of crayons. This is my actual work desk, my actual computer desk, my chair. We'll move it out of the way. So this is non-fun business stuff. Computer paper, uh, photo paper, my receipts drawer, which I have to clean out again. You know, standard pen holder, notebook, notepad holder, my computer. Um, book. I wrote a book. I don't know if you guys know that, but I'm an author. Anyway, my cop signed copies of the book are down there along with mailing envelopes. Inspiration books and vintage books for ephemera. This is my bank of ephemera. So you have chipboard and scrap journals and paint chips and doilies and old photos and playing cards and stickers and everything's binned and everything's sorted so that I can grab it easily when I need to. And this is my Ikea cart which rolls around the room and the top of it has current working journals and a scrap box of bits and pieces that haven't been put away so I try to use out of there first. Um, my art journaling or, or craft paints and then some other miscellaneous journals on the bottom that I may want to get to in a quick hurry. So that's it. That's my space. What does yours look like? What cool things have you done in your space that I haven't thought of yet? And what things out of my space do you think are cool? I almost forgot. I have these two big shelves up above the table. The very top one has uh, bins of salvage parts and texture tools and things in it. Book binding. That, we'll see, that one right there is book binding supplies. And then stencils of other people, various stencils. Then my stencils and my personal collection. My rubber stamp line that I designed and then all of my other rubber stamps in my collection and in the corner is um, right there resin supplies my postal scale old-fashioned I know and then behind it is a box of just miscellaneous containers so anyway what have you done in your space that you think works really well what here do you think works really well what are your ideas what are your thoughts share your space I would love to see it all right, that's it for today. If you would like to be a member of um, the My Creative Year Facebook group and share your ideas, your thoughts, your creativity with the rest of us, the link is in the description below. Don't forget to go out and do the most important thing, something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.